All right, kindergartners, today you're going to be turning your weaving into an alligator by adding details like teeth, eyes, head, and tail. So at the drive through what you're going to do after you get your weaving is you need to get two pieces of green paper, one piece of white long paper, and another piece for the eyes. So at my table spot, what I need to do first is cut my green paper into a triangle for my head and my tail. And to do that, I'm gonna draw out a really big triangle. This triangle is gonna start at the very edge of my paper, right at this corner, and it's gonna go all the way up to the middle. Sometimes you can put a little dash there to show you where your line is supposed to end or start, okay? If it's not perfect, that's okay. And from the middle and to the other triangle or corner. Do you notice how I had both of these papers stacked up so that when I cut one paper I'll be cutting the other paper and I'll get two done at once? Ooh, that's a sneaky artist trick for you today, kindergarten. Cut along my pencil line the best that I can, holding my two papers together. This stuff here is trashy trash so I can put it in the maroon recycler over by the garbage and I need to glue down my head and tail. So I'm going to do a few dots of glue on the back side of my triangle and I'm going to glue it down as close to the middle as I can. Okay? So opening up my glue bottle by twisting the top, picking off any glue boogers. If my glue really is stuck, kind of happening this time of the year, then just raise a quiet hand. I did four dots of glue, no bigger than my pinky finger. Smaller dots of glue are better for gluing than big dots. I'm going to glue it to the tippy top and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I need to do that to my bottom. That's going to be my tail. So four tiny dots of glue. It dots a lot and that's enough for me. One, two, three, four. Sneaky ninja flip over and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now to help my um, alligator look more like an alligator, I'm going to kind of ditch these corners right here. So with the scissors, <clears throat> I'm going to cut a diagonal line to trim off that corner. That is trash trash. It needs to go into the garbage. I'm going to make a little pile and do it all at once. And down at the bottom. This makes my alligator look less like a piece of paper and more like an alligator. Alright, I'm ready to start the teeth. Now when I think about an alligator's sharp teeth, I think of kind of like a zigzag line. So I'm going to draw a zigzag line, keeping in mind that as much as I zig and zag, I need to cut that line out. So make your zigzags really big. Zig, zag, zig, zag, all the way across. Now look at this. If I do little tiny zigzags like this, ooh, that's going to be a real challenge to cut out kindergartners. So try to make your zigzags nice and big. Kind of like some big tall mountains. All right, I'm cutting along that line. The best that I can. If I need some help, of course I can ask my neighbor, hey neighbor, can you help me with the zigzag line? And they would say, oh yes, of course neighbor. I would love to help you, that's what I'm here for. If they don't know, then you could raise a quiet hand and ask me. So my zigzag line is going to get glued right here so it looks like my alligator's sharp teeth are sticking out. Here's the thing, I'm going to flip this whole thing over to the back and double check my name because I might have accidentally cut it out. My name in class code. And I'm going to put a few dots of glue along this side of the alligator or crocodile's mouth. A few dots of glue, it dots a lot and that's enough for me. No bigger than my pinky finger. And I need to glue down the sharp zigzag lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They get some glue on my hands, so I just kind of rub them off. All right, my alligator's looking good. He's got some sharp teeth. Now he needs some big eyes. All the better to see you with. So, with my last piece of white paper, I'm going to fold it in half. Because every time I cut out a shape that I want to be the same, I fold my paper in half and I do a sneaky artist trick. So I'm going to make a big arched line, kind of like an N or an upside down U, 
That's going to be my alligator's eyes. And keeping my paper folded, I'm going to cut along that pencil line. And I've got two fold lines. All right. I'm going to put a big sharpie dot for the pupil of my alligator's eye. And here's um, a cool thing to kind of make my alligator 3D. I'm going to give my paper a little bit of a foot to stand on so it can pop off my alligator's head. We did this when you did your line paintings. A little foot for my eye to stand on. Okay, a few dots of glue on that little folded over foot. And that makes that eye 3D standing out. My alligator is finished for today. I'm going to carry it flat like a lunch tray to the drying rack.